Alright, here's a little video of the dash deck. I know a lot of you were interested to see exactly how it worked. Uh, right now I have it configured for uh, vehicle speed on the left, mass airflow in the middle, and manifold air pressure on the right. You can see the gauges there jumping around a little bit. Car's idling here. It's pretty responsive. Um, any of these gauges, you can change the... Um, it's hard to do this. And let me see here. Uh, you can change the maximum uh, gauge. Uh, so in other words, like at, right now it's at 120. If I hit maximum and I enter, I don't know, 50. It'll change the maximum to 50. Uh, if I want my high warning to be at 45. And then... Now as you can see, it changed the gauge to a max of 50 with a warning at 45. Um, all the gauges are customized, are, are able to be customized in this fashion. Um, several different screens here that you can go through. Um, if you don't have a blo particular block or gauge assigned, um, it will show up as a empty, uh, won't do anything. Uh, here there's none assigned on this page. Uh, this is kind of a cool graph. I really like this page. Um, click on one will assign a signal. Let's see. Engine coolant temp. Let's go with a maximum of 250. And it'll graph your coolant temp for you. It'll graph anything, really, any parameters that it will, uh, um, that it picks up. Engine speed. Max of 8,000 is fine. You can change line colors. Um, say I want that one to be red. Now to show up on the graph as such. It's really a nice tool. Uh, it'll data log any page. You see here it says start log. Um, it will log any page that you're currently on. Um, this is just some more different types of uh, graphs here. Engine RPM, let's use that again. So, I mean, it's it's very uh, universal type of a tool. You can also go into here, um, let's see, we're going to go to diagnostic, 